center and playground. but I still think we get on each other's nerves. Well, can you maybe not argue for just a little while? Long enough to at least listen to the princess's ideas? you think so. Now, over there, I thought we could have an art station with crayons and easels and... Oh, and finger paints! And modeling clay! Good ideas. And over here, some games and activities, like a... Yeah! A, a colorful, you know, a multicolored... What you call it? A hop, hip, hopscotch board! Brilliant! It'll be a first and original! The one and only... Hi! Playground! So, you'll do it? Yes! Oh, uh, wonderful! Oh, I almost forgot to mention, the daycare opens in two days. Do you think it could be ready by then? No problem! 
Oh, thank you. I'll drop by later and see how you're doing. All right. The first thing we should do is give some pizzazz to the dandelion bouncing pit. Its whole color scheme is so zero. Well, that sounds nice, but what the princess wants is style. So let's start on my hopscotch board. Your hopscotch board? Hmm? Oh, uh, I mean ours. It's just I have the perfect idea for it. Whew. Okay, I guess, uh, I mean, uh, no point in arguing. Of course not. Why would we want to do that? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Doesn't this look cheerful? Hand me the red paint, would you, Raspberry? Raspberry? <laughs> <laughs> Raspberry, what are you doing? The kind of design work that makes a baby berry can say, wow! <laughs> I thought we were going to work on my hopscotch board. Well, you were having so much fun painting old-fashioned decorations. I thought I'd leave you alone. Old-fashioned? Uh, it's called retro, and it's very much in style today. Yes, well, I'm sure there are people who like that sort of thing, but, um, you know, I'm going for a more trendy, grab-your-attention look since fantastic fashion is all about being daring, you know, taking design chances and all. <laughs> yes, it's delightful. If you happen to like the chances designers were taking last year... <gasps> Oh, perfect. What? Lemon, what, what, what are you doing? Well, that daring, chancy, modern look of yours is ever so interesting, but it might be a bit, oh, bright for the baby bearkin's eyes, don't you think? No, I don't think. Well, I do. So the choice was simple. Give them sunglasses to protect them from those clashing colors. <laughs> Cute, but... Or, and this one's my personal choice, build a more eyeball-friendly and truly stylish bounce pit. <sighs> there you go again, thinking your ideas are better than mine. Just like with the croquet poster. The croquet poster would have worked if you'd listened to my ideas, but... It's okay, it's okay. I'm not gonna argue with you. I'll just let the princess decide whose bounce pit is better looking. Oh. Oh. Hey, Lemon, could you grab that side of the... Oh, I forgot. <clears throat> Never mind. Oh. <laughs> Raspberry, could you give me a hand with... Oh, never mind. <laughs> if Raspberry doesn't appreciate me, what's the point? I'll just let her do it however she wants. Alone! <laughs> <laughs> this is getting to be very not fun. <sighs> if Lemon doesn't like how I do things, she can just do it all, all by herself. One, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and that's it! You got it! <laughs> nice! Excellent! Oh, really excellent! Oh, thanks, Plum! I'm glad somebody likes what I do. Aw, I know Lemon likes your stuff. Lemon likes her stuff better. She wants to do everything her way, so I quit. Isn't that play area a two-person job? Oh, believe me, Lemon will be a lot happier alone. Well, why do you think so? Because she won't have me to argue with. Hi, Lemon. Hi, Strawberry. Hi, girls. What's everybody doing? Oh! Hey, Lemon. Uh, hi, Lemon. How are 
are you? Getting the refreshments and entertainment ready for the grand opening of the daycare center. How's it going out there? Just great. Ooh, yummy! You girls need any help? Um... <laughs> aren't you and Raspberry working together? We were. But she thinks her ideas are better than mine. So I'm letting her do it by herself. Well, that's a big job for just one person. Doesn't it need two? Not if those two disagree on everything. Oh, so Lemon, I was just working on this new song. Tell me what you think. Um, when stormy grows the weather, it's good to work together. Uh, like birds of a feather, teamwork is feather. <laughs> So, what do you think? Do you have anything more, uh, heavy? Oh, Lemon! It's you. Gosh, uh, there you are. Yeah. Uh, are you, uh, finished already? What? Well, aren't you working on the playground? <gasps> aren't you? I, I thought, thought you were. were. I gave up so you could do it your way. Me too! Nothing got done! Girls. Hi, Strawberry. Nice day. Hey, I just heard that Princess Berrykin is on her way over to see how your job is coming. <gasps> Hopefully you settled your differences and everything's fine. What a mess. I can't believe you just walked out and left it like this. Uh, me? You? Well, you walked out too! If Princess Berrikin sees this, she'll lose all faith in me. Well, what about me? Maybe she'll never even speak to me again. Everyone will hear about it and lose trust in me, and, and no one will come to my salon anymore! Well, what about what everyone thinks of me? My, my reputation is on the line too here, you know. If only it weren't for you and... For me? What about you? Well, you walked out on the job without even telling me. So did you! Uh, but I don't work for you. I don't work for you either! Oh, blaming each other isn't solving anything. <sighs> You're right. I am? Yeah. So, what do we do? Well, we've got to keep the princess from seeing this until we can get it finished. Or at least cleaned up and, and almost finished. I agree. You do? Absolutely! We gotta stall her. Come on! Why, hello, princess. Coming to see our work? Yes. How is it coming along, girls? Oh, just uh, splendidly. We can't wait for you to see it. Oh, but wait. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Why, whatever is wrong, Raspberry? The, uh, chair, uh, I mean, tablecloths. Oh, my. Yes. How silly of us to forget. We can't show the princess the playground now because... She has to decide on the right fabric for the tablecloths for the lunch tables. Quickly, Princess, let's go to my fashion boutique. Oh, we're so lucky we ran into you. Oh, this plaid is nice, and this color would go fabulously with this color, don't you think? But we just don't know about these polka dots. Well, these are all nice. Uh, I do have to be getting back to the berry works. How many more samples are we going to be looking at exactly? Oh, just a hundred more. Give or take a few dozen. <laughs> now, about this fabric, what do you think? Stripes? Or checks? You keep her busy. I'll try to do some cleanup. Good idea. Uh... Checks are a good idea, Lemon. A princess, could you take a look at this fabric, please? Yes, you better get going. Oh. Huh. So, we're settled on the tablecloths, then. And a perfect choice it is. How are things going? Oh, 
Just fine. The princess has decided on a fabulous spring floral. How are things going with you, Lemon? Oh, you know, always could use a bit more time. <laughs> well, guess you have to get going back to the berry works now. Well, I could spare a few minutes to see how it's coming along. Goodness me! The flowers! We forgot all about those, uh, special flowers. Right, Raspberry? Why, yes. The, uh, the early blooming yellow-tipped peasel puffs. Yes, oh, they're a must for any daycare nowadays. They are? I've never even heard of peasel puffs. Oh, yes! All the best daycare centers have them. I know. How about if you help us pick one? I'd be delighted. I think I see one. Just a little farther. You're almost there, Princess. Is that really a peasel puff tree? There's no such thing. That's just a dogwood tree in bloom. Okay, now grab a couple of flowers, Your Highness. All right, I've got them. But fine. Here are your peasel puffs. Oh, the peasel puffs. They're perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm sorry that I have to get back to the berry works, so I won't be able to visit the play area just now. Oh, really? Oh, phooey. Well, it will look a lot better in the morning when we're done. See you at the grand opening, girls. <laughs> in very big trouble. If only you'd listened to my ideas. What makes you think you've got the only good ideas? Oh, let's not start that again. Maybe Strawberry can help us. Good idea. Race you to the cafe. You win. Oh, oh, and then the balloon went all crazy, you know, wacky. I mean, we barely got her down safely. And the play area is still unfinished. And the only thing we agree on is that we'll never finish it on time. Strawberry, we're never gonna be able to work well together. <laughs> but you already do work well together. Huh? No, really. Look at the clever ways you kept the princess delayed. Fabrics, balloons, flowers. I mean, it'd be better if you told her the truth. But that? <laughs> that took a lot of teamwork. Well, now that I think about it, we did plan that well. <laughs> yeah, your fabric idea was pretty clever. Oh! <laughs> and your peasel puff gag. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I'm not sure I want to know what a peasel puff is, but do you understand what I'm saying? So? I think we're going to give the play area another shot. That's great! But it's still gonna be a lot of work. Do you need any help? Thanks, that's very kind. But I think Raspberry and I should do it. We have our reputations to uphold. Oh yes, and we promised the princess together, so we need to, you know, complete it together. We don't have much time. What do we do? We could work on each project together until it's done, and then we'll move on to the next one. What do you think? Great idea. Really? <laughs> really. Very best friends forever. Never let each other down. As long as we're together, things will always turn around. We might get lost, but it's okay. Got your friends, you find your way back home, sweet home. A place you can always call your own. Look, sleeping on the job. However, they finished the job. Wow, it's amazing! What a great team! I had a feeling they could do it. Look, the princess is coming. Quick, let's put up the ribbon. Prince 
Princess, would you please do the honors? I now declare this Berrykin Daycare Center open! <laughs> Great job! We only did the ribbon. There are your makeover superstars. Lemon, raspberry. I love the play area. It's exactly what I wanted. It's colorful, vibrant, stylish, and fun. Both modern and old-fashioned. Thank you, Princess. And we apologize for all that trouble we put you through yesterday. No harm done. <laughs> She didn't even care who did what. She was just so pleased with the result. She was impressed with the team. And so am I. Thank you, Strawberry. Thanks. Righto. And I can't wait to work with you again. Mm. How about working on a nap? <sighs> yes. You've got it. <sighs> Partner. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Face. Ready to start making finger sandwiches for the tea party? Ooh, better than that, Miss Shortcake. I spent the entire night thinking up new culinary treats. Perfect for tea parties. What do you think of a wheat, grass, corn, husk, and pickled butter puff? It sounds very... uh... interesting. I... <laughs> can't wait to try it. Oh, neither can I. <laughs> 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 I can't play now. Do you want to come in? Cake <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>, custard. <laughs> you two. Come on. You'll have to stay out of the way. Are you ready to try my spectacular wheat, grass, corn husk, and pickled butter puff? Oh. Um, <laughs> yes. Mmm. 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 <laughs> that is very, um, hmm, different. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. -hmm. Maybe an acquired taste. You know, something you have to get used to. Not for everyone, are they? <laughs> you need a sense of adventure to enjoy them. <laughs> Honestly, Mr. Longface, it might be too much adventure for me, but maybe others will take to them. <gasps> How'd you... Oh, are you all right? <laughs> Oh, you want to play. <laughs> I'm sorry. I told you, I'm just too busy today. My next creation! The first ever strawberry, raspberry, blueberry, lemon orange plum tea sandwich. Oh, strange. Strange? Oh, I'm sorry. I meant that is strange. Custard and pupcake didn't come back for lunch. Ooh, oh my. Uh, that's not only strange, it it's why, it's unheard of. Oh dear. I hope something hasn't happened to them. Oh, don't worry, Mr. Longface. I'm sure there's a very simple explanation. They're probably just... Oh, out 
playing and just lost track of time. Beware the metal tear. What a day. <laughs> Everything's out to Watch out for the pops. Mr. Longface is pride and joy. His wheatgrass corn husk can pickle butter pups. Strawberry? What's so interesting out there? Oh, uh, nothing. They're not back yet? Who's not back yet? Oh, Custard and Pupcake. Have you seen them? Are they missing? Oh, I'm sure they're just playing. <laughs> you know those two. Poor things. What if something's happened to them? Now, don't worry. They'll come back when they're ready. Ever. <laughs> I'm so glad. I'm not. Excuse me, won't you? I can't stop thinking about those two helpless little creatures out there. <laughs> Maybe lost in the big world. Oh, don't worry, Mr. Longface. After the tea party, I'll go out and find them. If there's anything I can do to help. That's very kind of you. Perhaps later you could keep things going here while I step outside and call them. Happily. Uh, just say when. Uh, now. Custard! Popcake! They've never been gone this long, have they? Don't worry, girls. I'll find them in no time. I know all their favorite spots. Please, go back and enjoy the party. Sadie Bug and Katie Bug will think they've been abandoned. But we can help you look, Strawberry. But they've been looking forward to this party for weeks. The Ladybugs won't miss me. But if you leave, I mean, <laughs> the party just started. Party is over. I do apologize, Miss Shortcake. I couldn't stop them. We can have a tea party any old time, but right now, we're having a search party <laughs> to help you find your pets. And we brought finger sandwiches. Good oh, news. Yeah. yeah! Thank you, everyone. What are friends for? <laughs> reading a Patty Persimmon mystery book that Blueberry recommended, and there's a search party scene, and they were able to find a missing Glimmerberry by splitting up. Great idea! Oh, uh, Katie Bag and I will distribute food and drinks to all parties soon as she gives me the basket! Oh! <sighs> <sighs> Bug. Don't mind if I do. Oh, thank goodness the rain is stopping. Now, quick, guys, we're off. Have to supply that Mary Kids. <laughs> thank you. Wait, that looks like a Mr. Longface special. Oh, uh, thanks for reminding me. Uh, I'll just save this for later. Hmm. I think I'll do the 
the same. Hmm. An Arboralis Lanaria usually stands straight up. The pets must have been through here and bent it. Oh, wonderful observation, Berrican Bloom. Wow. This is really reminding me of the mystery Blueberry gave me. The search party was in a dark woods like this. And while they were tracking the missing Glimmerberry, the mean, nasty, very naughty thief was tracking them! Oh. oh, hey! I read that mystery. Patty Persimmon, genius detective, on the case of the mean, nasty, very naughty Glimmerberry thief. Exactly how mean, nasty, and um, uh, what was the rest? Very naughty. Oh, dear. But it turns out it wasn't a thief at all. <sighs> Thank goodness. It was really a forest <gasps> monster. Yeah, they call it the Slither Slider. <laughs> Did you hear? Uh, nothing, absolutely nothing. <laughs> Are you sure? Uh, perhaps something that sounded sort of like a... Slither? Uh, uh, not, not at all. Wait for us! I would not estimate that they would come this far. I don't recognize this area. It's not even on the map I printed out. And there's no path. Oh, I've just got to look everywhere. They have to be somewhere. Let's head out a little farther. I certainly wouldn't want to get lost out here in this rainy weather like they might be. Lost? My pets? I know. I read in a story about two kids who made a trail of breadcrumbs so that they could find their way home. Oh, I know that story. Um, doesn't, um, the breadcrumb trail get eaten? But no one will eat this. You're clever, Blueberry. Come on, now we won't get lost. Strikes in the rain. Well, come on. Let's keep going. Into this rain? Well, we have to find the pets. Uh oh. Uh, quick, up here. This way. Uh, let's go in here. It's Brian here. Come on. Uh. You just look at that. Someone's been littering. Strawberry always says, pack it in, pack it out. Whatever you bring into the wilderness, you should bring out. Did you hear that? Oh, I'm afraid that I did. It couldn't be the slither slider. Ah! Orange raspberry! Oh, my. Handing out search party snacks is super hard. It's a lot of work. Yeah. Uh, let's have a rest. Oh, why not enjoy a snack ourselves? 
Oh, hey! I was saving that sandwich for me! Finders keepers! Losers! Weepers! Uh, nah, uh. We're over here! Listen, it's coming closer! Oh, Tothrot! Persimmon genius detective magnifying glass, then they're gone. My pets? No, with those puff crumbs. I can't believe someone ate them. Goodness, now we'll never find our way out of here. Don't be scared. We've got each other. We can handle this. But the sun will set in approximately 44 minutes, and the pets are lost, and we're lost. I'll call the others. Hi, Orange. Any sign of Pupcake or Custard? Nothing here, except, well, we really aren't sure where here is. Yeah, we're lost, too. Oh, uh, call you back, Orange. I've got another call coming in. Hello? Hi, Lemon. Slow down, Lemon. What's wrong? Uh, something very weird out here. Be brave. We'll find you. Great. Now we're all lost together. Hey, is that a map? Uh, it was. <laughs> Quick, let's hide in here. Oh, I don't know if I can fit. I'll help you. Try back again. I know this trail. Thank goodness. Oh, but still no sign of the pets. Oh, this is terrible. Chin up, Lemon. We're going to find them. Oh, Strawberry. Well, what would we do without you? You always tell us everything is going to be okay. I only hope it is. What's wrong? Do you know something about the pets? We lost the tea sandwiches and the puffs! Puffs? We've been finding and picking those up all afternoon. You cleaned up our puff trail? Well, sure. Puff it in, puff it out. to come home, but they'll be back tomorrow. What if they're trapped somewhere? I don't think that's likely. Oh, I miss them so much. Could they have run away? <laughs> Strawberry? Oh, 
are you? Just the night air, uh, making me sniffle. <laughs> oh, Strawberry, you must be so worried. And all we've been talking about is how worried we are. You poor thing. You love those pets so much. I didn't want to make everyone upset, but I'm just so scared I won't find them. And, and maybe they did run away. You see, they wanted me to play with them, but I was too busy. Oh, I was silly to say that. They would never run away, not with someone like you taking care of them. They know how much you love them, and they love you. Don't you worry, Strawberry. We will find them no matter what. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> I'm so glad you all came to look with me. Quick, run! <laughs> run for your lives! <laughs> We heard it coming from underground! We heard weird noises underground, too! Wait a minute! Underground! What if that's why the pets didn't come home? What do you mean, Strawberry? Well, all of us have searched everywhere from above. And if the pets were underground and didn't know what time of day it was... They might lose track of time? Exactly! Mr. Longface, Barry can bloom. Where did you hear the noises? <laughs> Back there. Custard? Pot cake! There. <laughs> 